The pom puree is lovely and silky. There's the surprise of those crispy onions. Everything on here is an absolute joy. This is one of the reasons why we like to do what we do. <laughs> I like the sort of food that Dave's doing. The idea of a poached lobster tail with lardo, you know, putting on some good old fat, um, a garlic emulsion to give it some bite, burnt apple, tarragon oil, and salted crackling. <laughs> that, to me, is a dreamy starter. Dave, what's that sticking out the top of your lobster? It's a uh, tarragon oil, chef. What's it in? It's a little pipette. Ah. Combinations there that feel both sophisticated but absolutely the sort of thing you want to eat. Are you ready to go? Good to go, chef. Brilliant. And you're on time. Very nice. Looks good. For his starter, Dave is serving poached lobster tail with lardo, burnt apple, garlic emulsion, salted crackling, apple blossom, and tarragon oil. This is how food should look. There's a real visual pop to it with those um, flower blossoms. Mmm. The lobster is cooked to perfection. And the accompaniment of the little pale crackling was a real gift. The puree is beautifully done. Those um, flowers, not just decorative, they do kind of give it a little pop of sweetness and freshness. And the tarragon oil is pretty potent as well. That's not just there to uh, make things look ready for Instagram. This is a terrific dish. Beautifully cooked lobster. I personally love the garlic emulsion underneath it. It's delightful. The lardos, but salty are on there. It works so well. And then the little sweetness from the apple. This is a lobster heaven. It's elegant, it's delightful, it's absolutely sensational piece of cookery. Dave's main course, beef fillet cooked in bone marrow. Bone marrow, that beautiful, sweet fat, and a snail and a crispy onion. There's real gutsiness to it, and it's kind of balancing with a bit of elegance with the pom puree and the parsley puree. Dave, a couple of minutes left. How's the beef looking? A perfect chef. This is just such a delicious array of ingredients. If Dave screws it up, I'm going to hate him. So that's your sauce with the snails in, yeah? We chef. It's just your herbs and you're good to go? We chef. All right. My second course is fillet of beef cooked in bone marrow, garlic pom puree, crispy onions, um, parsley puree, spinach, pancetta, bone marrow, snail sauce. Hope you enjoy your meal. Um, thank you. Cheers, Dave. Nice one, mate. It was a mission, but it's probably one of the best things I've done in my career cooking for them, as long as they don't hammer me. <laughs> On looks alone, Dave's knocked it out of the park again. The beef, um, for me, is cooked beautifully. It's rested really well. Your knife goes through it like a knife through butter. That marrow, it's so sweet and succulent. And the snails, they're not easy to cook. They're not chewy. The pom puree is lovely and silky. There's the surprise of those crispy onions. Everything on here is an absolute joy. This is one of the reasons why we like to do what we do. <laughs> the beef is beautifully cooked. The snails are nice and earthy, got a lovely bite to them. The mashed potato is beautiful. It's creamy and buttery, how it should be. And I really like the textures of the crispy onions on here as well. This is a chef who knows what he's doing. Victor, two minutes left. Yes, sure. How are we looking? I'm cleaning up now, Chef. Risotto is cooked? Risotto is cooked. Now, if he does this well, it's a phenomenal dish. If the risotto is cooked just right. If his peas and broad beans are al dente enough so you can almost sense and taste the garden that they came from. So you got the little onions on there? Yeah. What's missing? Watercress and then the horseradish. 
the heat from that horseradish cream is something that I'd be looking to kind of really present itself full-throatedly and like with a real sort of gutsiness. You're shaking a bit there, Victor. <laughs> yeah. Nervous? A little bit. Time is now up. Last bit of garnish on and off you go. Stop making him so nervous. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, hello. Sorry. They, they didn't like it? You forgot the Parmesan crisps? Yes, I did, yeah. Right, second time lucky? Second time the charm. <laughs> you stop what? making him nervous. He forgot his Parmesan. Hi. 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 Here you have a watercress risotto with pickled tachalots, peas and broad beans, and Parmesan crisp with a horseradish cream on top. Great stuff, well done. I feel like I've just had my nose cleared for me. <laughs> that has got a real horseradish kick, which I appreciate, to be honest. It was kind of quite a surprise. The uh, risotto is cooked bang on for me, like it's Still a lot of bite to the rice. And then also that the, the vegetables are still, you know, al dente enough so you can really taste them, really taste the freshness. I think the use of watercress is really clever because mm. it does have a distinct flavour. Mm. It has a bit of pepperiness yeah. actually to it, but he needs to go easy on the horseradish. Ooh, that's a strip off. Yeah. <laughs> You can really taste the watercress through this risotto. I, I don't mind the heat, I can take it, you know, so I, I quite like that. And I find it that the horseradish with the parmesan is a delight to, to enjoy together. We know Victor packs flavour into his, into his cookery and he's certainly done that here. And he's certainly improved his presentation as well. Victor loves his onions, but whether he knows his onions is what we will come to decide. And also, can you cook beef sirloin? Are we going to have some tender pinkness there? Is he spending so much time with his onions that he's forgotten how to cook meat? Victor? Yes, chef. You've got 60 seconds. Yes, chef. Is that the anchovy? Yes, chef. Let's go. Let's go. Well done. Victor's main course is beef sirloin served with onion puree, Roscoff onions, confit baby leeks, deep fried anchovies, smoked onion oil, and a jus made from bonito tuna flakes. I think the beef is cooked really well. Well rested, lovely and pink in the middle, and he does know his onions, <laughs> and he has really made a distinction between them. The onion puree, I think, is the underdog on the plate. It's got a fantastic sweetness that works really well with the intense salt that's happening elsewhere. The bonito jus is lovely. It's definitely got that kind of marine fishiness coming through. Also, anchovies deep fried in breadcrumbs. They're a really naughty little additional textured salty extra. Really clever. Beautifully presented main course from Vector. We have perfectly cooked sirloin. The leeks are beautifully cooked, and the, the Benito sauce is, is quite neutral, you know, and it works very well with the flavours of onions on this plate. I love the deep fried anchovy. They bring a lovely saltiness to this dish. Good cookery, well thought out, beautifully executed. I think he's done a really good job. Ugh. The pressure is, is, is unreal. I welcome the pressure, really. I just need to cope with it a little bit. <laughs>